So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my controller setup guide for Escape from Tarkov. Um, I'm going, as normal, I'm going to be using the Rewaz app. Um, if you have never downloaded it before, um, all I'll do is I'll drop the link in the description and the comments as well. And I'll also drop my configuration file in there for you to download. Um, once you have it installed, all you need to do is just to create a new game profile, put in the name of the game, and f browse the .exe file of Escape from Tarkov. Uh, once that's done, this will all be blank. Um, once you've done that, just click on the drop down arrow, go to import, and you just go to wherever you've downloaded my configuration file and just click on open. Once you've done that, you'll get this, and these are all the buttons that you'll see in the game. Um, and all you have to do is click on apply to slot one and actually turn on the remap. Once that's done, um, you can just follow the guide in the next part. So I'm playing Escape to Tarkov um, and I'm using the controller again, we're using Rewazd. Um, so what I do this time is actually have three layers in total, which is the main one and two shift ones. So the first one is just for your general movement and shooting. So you have the left stick for moving and the right stick for aiming and just pointing in your general direction. And when you click on the left stick, that's actually the run. And then you've got your D-pad. Now left on the D-pad, it would be your gun. So whatever weapon you have on your sling, or I think it's string in the game, I'm not sure. Um, and then right on the D-pad, which is the one that's on your back. So it depends on which way you have your gun set up in the game. Uh, pushing up on the D-pad, which is one, that will actually give you your pistol. And then down is when you select your fire from either single, burst, or auto, depending on the weapon you have. Um, tapping or B, now what that does is throw your grenades. Um, now it picks them at random, I think, so I'm not sure exactly about that. And then we have the phase buttons. So you've got Y, which is your interact button. So this is for looting or for searching when you're looking for loot, or actually searching bodies and then holding down Y will actually bring up your knife, which is the V key. So what that does is when you bring up your knife, then you use the left and right triggers, and it does kind of two slashing motions with the knife. Um, then the usuals are kind of like X for reload, um, and then triple tap X. What that does is it kind of, you have a malfunction or like a chamber malfunction. Now it hasn't happened to me yet because I haven't played that much, but when you triple tap it, it's supposed to fix it and rectify that. Um, if you hold X, what that'll do is actually check how much ammo you've got in the clip or actually in the weapon itself. You'll see the animation. It'll either show you the magazine or it'll clip to the side where the bullets are. And then um, start, obviously, is your tab. So that brings up your inventory so you can see your health and your loot and what you've got. Um, and then, obviously, the back button is just to escape. So that's kind of like what the mains. So that's kind of like what the kind of main functions is. And then, like I said, we've got two other layers. So to get to the layers, it's LB. So you hold LB for tactical, and then you hold the left trigger when you're aiming. So we'll go to the tactical one first. As you can see here, it's called attack mode, just for my own. Um, so what you do now is when I'm holding LB, it lets me then choose these options. Now what these options are, it depends on what way you have it set up in the game. Um, I have like these four, like, four five six seven i have these all kind of meds so for quick meds so when i need meds what i did sorry uh, when i have my meds coming up so i hold lb and i'll press say y for medikit x for bandages uh, b for splints and i think a is either for uh, painkillers or more tablets but you can actually put whatever you want in here and um, also if you think you need more slots i think there's like eight nine ten you can actually probably put them up here or you can maybe change some of these yourself but this is just the way i actually have it and um, so down for the d-pad which is still for me tactical so up on the d-pad it would be for your compass so um i couldn't actually find the compass i'm not sure like if it's in one of the dealers or it's something that you find but when you have a compass in your inventory and you tap up it will actually show you then on the screen like your compass and which way you have to go um, tapping down now what this does is it shows you in the top right hand corner how much left uh, is on the clock or in your watch because i think it starts off with 45 minutes in the game so that's the way of checking on the time on a regular basis if you want to make sure like how long you've got left or do you need to go to the extract point straight away and um, left and right now these are tactical so left on the d-pad is either for your tactical light or say like a laser and on the right is for night vision goggles like I said, all this can be done when you're holding the LB button and then these become available to you. Now there is more options that you can pick, but just for the time being, this is what I have so far. Um, if you can actually think of anything that I could add, just let me know in the comments below. And then the third one 
is your shift flare tree now this is these come active when you're holding the left trigger so we're actually aiming down your gun and then we've got the lean so well the way i have it is when i'm aiming down the rifle or pistol or assault rifle i'll either click left stick or right stick for left and right lane and then the rb button i have that as holding your breath for when you're sniping or looking down the scope and then left on the d-pad and right on the d-pad these are for your sights or your scopes depending on which ones you have on your gun so while you're holding left trigger you tap left on the d-pad what that'll do that'll switch but if you actually have a hybrid kind of scope which will have either a four times or three times scope with a red on top this will actually let you switch between the two and then the right will actually kind of adjust the magnification of the scope if it, if you actually pick up a scope that lets you kind of adjust it and then while you're aiming again you've got like i know it says page up page down so it's up on the d-pad and down the d-pad and this is like your zeroing distance what you could do with this is if you're using a scope it'll change from 50 to 100 150 and then push it down will actually make it go back down to 50. i think the highest is i like, think it goes 200 or 250 i'm not sure but. and so that's pretty much it and um, this is just my first kind of attempt i know done a video earlier on just to show like a mock-up of what it looks like but this is the actual kind of setup that i use at the moment and um, i'm still kind of tweaking things whether it's kind of either settings or sensitivities but um if there's anything you can think of that i make it add to this just let me know in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for stopping by cheers